Hey YouTube, this is Tech Savvy Solution here and I'm here to do a video tutorial on how to set up your Samsung Galaxy S. Um, this is the international version, not the Vibrant or the Captivate, but it's pretty much the same procedure nonetheless. Now, I know um, I'm coming from an iPhone, so like jailbreaking was pretty easy. You just like click once on the program and everything is done for you in terms of jailbreaking and stuff and then you're free to customize. But here Android is a little bit different. You're dealing with some firmwares, some ROMs, some kernels, and it's a little more complicated. So what I'm gonna do is go from start to finish, how to get um, from your new Android phone to running the firmware that you want, the custom ROM that you want, and all the tweaks to solve like the lag problems, um, the headphone quality problems, and all that stuff. So. This is just for the people that want a straight out guide to get from start to finish and everywhere in between. So I'm going to get on with the tutorial. So first you want to go to your web browser and go to this URL. I'll have it. Uh, I'll have a link of it in the video description. But it's the unlocker.com and you want to install ADB onto your computer first. So I'm going to click here and there's a download link right here and you're gonna go click that download it and what you want to do is put it in your local C folder local C and it should be this thing right here and then you want to run the setup by clicking here okay and once you have it installed to check to see whether or not um, your the ADB is installed into a computer and the device, you want to go type in this command. Well, I went back to CD, and then let me just show you here. And then I pretty much I typed the location of where I stored the Android SDK file, which is in the C disk. And then I'm gonna go to Tools. And I'm going to go to ADB space devices. And it should show your device and your serial number. Um, but one thing you want to make sure before you do that is you put your device into um, debugging mode. USB debugging. So you go there from the settings um, from applications. So settings, applications. Um, development USB debugging and then you'll be able to do that. Now the second thing that you want to do is go ahead and download this program called Odin which will allow you to flash your phone. So Odin looks like this. I'll have another link for the in the video description. But you download Odin from this again another link. Um, I'm getting this from a FAQ from XDA developers. It's a great place. And there's a how to on how to flash through Odin. I'm going to walk through that. But over here is just a link for the Odin program. Once you have that downloaded, what we're going to do, go back there again is go to this site, madaka.com, and download a custom firmware for it. And what this will do is automatically root your phone on Froyo 2.2. And you won't have to worry about like um, installing a custom image or a custom recovery image because it, down it um, installs it for you. And you just download it. Again, another link in the video description. Once you have that, you'll have these files the PIT, um, the one for the PDA, modem, and then the CSC. So we're going to um, open Odin right now. And then right now I have my phone plugged in, but we're going to unplug it. Let me just put this down. Alright, and then I'm going to unplug it. And we're going to hold the volume down button, the home button, or the power button and the home button and just hold it
and then you'll get to the screen which is the download mode for the phone and then you're gonna plug your phone back in Oops. All right. and then your computer should recognize it on Odin and so what you want to do is go click on the pit file or the pit button um, let's go to desktop. And then you're going to go to 512 pit. Then you're going to go to PDA. Then you're going to go to this file, PDA. You click on phone. And then the modem file is for the phone. You're going to go to CSC. And the CSC file obviously is for that. And then you're just going to click start. And you're just going to let it run. The progress will be over here. And when you get to factory FS, it's going to show loading bar on the top. And you're just going to have to wait a little bit. Now, while you're waiting for that to load, you can probably go ahead and download the next set of stuff. Because um, we're going to jump from Froyo back down to 2.1, just because um, Froyo is supposed to be really fast, right? But right now, um, there are only beta firmwares of the Froyo firmware, and those beta firmwares aren't really that fast. So we're going to go down to this other link. I'll put in the video description. And I'm going to download the Samset 1.9 um, ROM. And then after I download this, I'm going to go back to um, the Samsung website. It's called samsungfirmware.webs.com. And I'll have links to all the firmwares um, that Samsung provides. And then you want to go ahead and download the JM5, this one. And that will be on Android 2.1 and download. Yeah. So right now you see it's almost done. It's just resetting. The phone is just resetting. And after it resets, then you'll be rooted on Froyo 2.2, and I'll show you that in a bit.